I know I'm supposed to talk about this, but I'm not sure where to start, considering there's uh, so much about it. I suppose I'll start with the biggest thing. Um, this um, was actually some kind of light fixture. This part had a uh, piece hanging from it with a light bulb screw in section. You flip glass in here, you hung it from a chain. It was a light fixture. I'm going to use it for something else. We took off this thing, and that makes a wonderful candle holder. And um, I'm using this as a box for a useless machine. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, look it up. And I have using machine circuit over here with a few alterations. Mainly, one is that I have installed an extra um, an extra switch in it so that it, for it to actually like become a useless machine, you gotta push the switch down. And then it be, and then it works as well as the useless machine is supposed to. This is because um, I'm making a steampunk useless machine. But I have all this brass stuff and the stained wood and this back of watch parts and this entire box of gears and cogs and my soldering iron and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I've got all these pieces of wood cut for this shape. Um, hinges, pipe caps, brass pipe, a valve, a key and lock. Now, this is pretty cool because, um, one of the pieces of wood here, the end piece, um, can fit the, uh, can fit the lock thing. The scoochin. The scoochin. It's called a scoochin. And, uh, you put the key in, and, um, the cool thing is, the key is gonna go in there when you turn it, it hits that, um, that switch I showed you, and turns the use of the machine on. So, it, so you can't, play with the box unless you have the key in and you put it in and you unlock it. I think that's pretty cool. Also it's meant to look like this. It's on, this is on its side now. Top, front and back. That's why um, the scoochin is on, mounted on this piece because it will go into this side of the wall. Um, I have some basic drawings about this. Uh, Mostly for reference, but um, things change a lot considering that, like, I'm building this off of, like, scrap parts, and it's like, I'm not going to go out and, like, buy specialty items just for decor. Although I bet a lot of steampunk guys do that. I'm not going to do, because I'm doing this on a budget. I suppose the first thing I should do is probably put the, um, one frame things in it after it, which way's up. We got all this, we got most of the stuff at, um, uh, the motor circuit we got from, like, um, electronics store, uh, you can find, uh, the instructions online at make, um, wood, that's garage, this thing, and a lot of some of the scrap metal, that is from, uh, Herb Omega Salvage. I got, got the piece of wood in, um, now I'm gonna get the, uh, gonna get the scooching and the key lined up. The scooching is um, basically like designed for a different thing. I'm using a skeleton key because um, that's what they had at um, Omega Salvage. And I found one I liked. It had a flat side for the, um, the switch. So basically it's going to be me I'm fiddling with this for like the next five minutes, trying to get it lined up so it goes in. I pre-cut the hole with the drill press, so um, it fit with the uh, key. The key fits the scooching, but they're not going to fit too well going together. So I've gotten most of the sides in except the top. Um, the top's a little bit trickier because uh, you got to have this base where the um, hinge gets screwed on. That goes to the back. This piece is the hinge itself. I think it is. It's the smart one. Then we have this piece, which is the front, and that goes like this. That was the hinge. These are our hinges. Little tiny little things. Those get mounted between these two and this one gets mounted just into the box by itself. And um, then the motor gets mounted to this piece. And then we drill a hole for the toggle switch. And yeah, it's going to look all really, really cool. So uh, out of this box of stuff I have over here, I got a bunch of things like these little cog things. And, um, I'm only just gluing those to the side or mounting them on um, nails so they spin. Finally got this done in the nth hour and um, 
Really cool, hand can little spot. This is actually from a stopwatch, a little winding piece. Turn around. Oh. Yeah, stopwatch winding piece, broken pressure gauge, but nobody knows that. Um, got on this side a tea pie, like a tea bend with some, uh, like, it's like the back cover, like, probably the back part of a watch off is what's on the inside. Front, front um, glass of a watch glued to the back with some wheels and a um, gear. Back has the exhaust plume and another wheel. This side has the gauge. Um, fortunately, I couldn't find a pump that would fit over this thing, so I didn't bother um, blocking it off. Those would have pumped it up so that the gauge would move around because it doesn't go past four, but it still works. And uh, you're probably waiting to see it work, but it's not going to turn on unless you have the key. So you put it in the hole, you got to turn it that like that until you hear the click and then it goes. And I'll show you that. Turn it on. So I'm going to take the key out, leave it on, and not until I put the key in and turn does it work. So, there you have it, Steampunk Useless Machine. Done.